part two, guys. And again, this is Constance with Charming Custom Crafts and my daughter, Kim. Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay. So, again, I did say that you were going to need six of these. So, you're going to find out why because we are going to put on the handle. Uh, it's actually pretty easy, uh, but this is where it can get tricky. Um, so, and I, again, pardon a mess. I, I'm dealing with CCC Market on Facebook at the same time. And Charming Custom Crafts on Facebook. So, um... Now this is where the flexibility of the hot glue comes in handy. Um, so I have two of them. I need these two. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to slightly tug these apart. You don't want it to completely come off if it does hot glue them back on or use your heat gun just to pull them back together. Because um, you're just going to pull them. This is where the flexibility of the hot glue comes in handy. Um, and don't worry about all the... I, I'm just so picky about the hot glue. So you're going to put some hot glue here. Hot glue right there. Here's where it gets tricky. You can use your uh, mat, and then you're going to go, and you don't want to go all the way down for this particular design. You want to stop right there, and you're going to hold it. You want the first one in the notch, and you want this one just slightly back, maybe a fourth of an inch to a fifth of an inch, um, and just hold it just long enough for it to stick. This is a good time to kind of rub off any extra uh, hot glue. And you just hold it for just a second. Uh, please make sure when you are doing this that the handle is going the same way as the round notch that's going to rock. So please note that. This is very, very important. You don't want it to go the opposite way because then it won't rock. and Or the arms will be backwards and then you're going to have to take it off. And again, that's where the hot heat gun comes in handy. If there's some this on it, it doesn't really matter because I'll be cleaning it up. So Okay, so... We've got that one ready. We need to do the other one. And I'm going to stick this one over. And it's almost like a rocking horse. As a matter of fact, I'm tempted to make a rocky horse now. But I went off of some pictures that, I, like I said, that I happened to capture. The one that I saw, I really hated the design. It's like really old fogey-ish. And I am not an old fogey. And it's funny because I started talking about my mom. I started talking to my mom about this. And she said that she had them. She had one back years ago. Uh, but her ex-husband threw it and broke it when he was just an asshole, guys. He's one of those guys that you just want deadbeat father, trust me. Um, yeah, don't, let's not go there. Anyway, he, he beat her in the long run. She, you know, they're not together, obviously, because I'm here. <laughs> Where would y'all be without me? Probably in a better place, but that's okay. Um, so, and again, I held it long enough. And your craft mat would be better. I'm just taking pictures on the black paper for our CCC market. So, looks like I'll have to get another piece, but that's okay. Okay, so now you got both pieces. And if you see that both of them are going the direction of the knobby part at the bottom. Again, this is your rocker part, and it will it will stand up at this point. And just this one's not like me. See? And ta-da! Okay. okay, so you got that part done. Now we have to structurally make it sound. Um, and this is where the part comes in. We're going to have to structurally sound this. And this is really important detail. Um, and this is really important because this is what's going to make the structure for um, making it a pocket. Um, and this is how I came up with a different design because I couldn't remember. So um, I'll teach the easier design another time. But again, this has been around for a long time. So... I'm not going to use a big one. It's the only big one I got left. So I need to get some in my son. So gratefully. And again, lots of bracelets going on. CC Market. And I think five of them or four of them has already been sold. At least quote unquote sold. So you're going to take another one um, of the clothespins. And you can see where the notches are down here. This is a very important part. Because if you do this wrong, it's not going. you're not going to get a pocket. Um, and I'm glad I get to do this. See, I want you guys to notice that all the round parts, this is why that I do that this way, so that you always know all the round parts go the right way, uh, the same way. So you're going to put some hot glue here, hot glue here, and you've got to be very careful. Don't worry about the strings. I would not worry about it. You want to make sure it does not go over that line. And you want to make sure that you start to wobble it to straighten it right here. This is where it starts to straighten, and you give that support. It doesn't take long. I do suggest that you keep up with keeping as much of the hot glues flattened. 
So if you can see that it's open over here, but it's it's a little bit over on this side, which is fine. This is exactly what you want. This is the structure that you are building. You have to build braces when you build any kind of structure. Again, it's Architecture 101. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the opposite. Now, if you remember, the round part's going towards the knobby round part. It's the whole round part all the way through. So we're going to go in. We're going to do it again here. And you've got to make sure that it stays level. And again, stay away from crossing that line back there, because now we are on the opposite side. Hello, anybody on my Charming Custom Crafts? They're either leaving me a message or liking. Okay, so that one's on. That quick. This is a lot faster than it normally takes me, because I'm really anal about making sure it's... When you're doing just one. But I'm actually going to be doing two while I'm, I'm working with you guys. So, you're going to want to do that to both of them. So we're going to go ahead and do this one real quick, obviously. Um, but, go the opposite way. And again, if you guys didn't catch it the first time, I do not fast forward anything because it's important that you guys learn this. Again, do not cross over that line. And this is where you start to make sure it doesn't wobble and you want to get it as straight as possible. Don't worry about any extra glue. Don't worry about any of the cobwebs. And if you notice, it's right there at that edge of the indentation. That's a good little hint to know where that if you're making it straight, that you have it straight. This is now solid. It's not going to bend and move. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put another side on. Don't worry about excess because, again, when we get done at the very end, well, I'm not going to do it. You guys will do it. It will disappear. So, again, lining up. Not crossing over the line. On the left side with this, the straight structure part. We now have two pieces. Yay! Audience, please. I know y'all think I'm freaking crazy as it is. See, it's all rocky front. All round rocky front. That's what you should have all the way around. All the straight back should be in the back. All the round should be at the rounded part of where your hand would go over the rocker. Okay, so now this is where we got to start putting it together, right? So, again, I need some more. And the pearls that you're seeing are going on CCC Market tonight. So, you're going to take this one and you're going to do, and I'll show you here in a minute. Just go ahead and put some hot glue on. And you're going to go make sure the round part's in the front. And you want to make sure it's over just a tad on that side so that you know that you're crossing over and keeping it straight. This is how it stays straight. This is one of those clue things that I try to teach. This is why I teach more lifestyle. See, now it's completely sitting, and you can see that I barely went over, and it's holding down straight. So you got the full pledge rocker. That's the beginning of your seat. And it um, depends on how you feel, whether or not you want to do this to keep from getting stuck with hot glue, or if you want to actually put it on the close then you can. Now if you notice this way goes this way you're going to do the opposite and put you have to go the opposite because structure has to be balanced. If you see now that it is now solid and if you look down in the center it's the opposite. This is the basic structure of your seat. This is where it now gets interesting because now we're almost to the exact same point that I am on this one. So I now have two of them but there obviously is a difference. So I'm going to show you how to get this piece on the back. So this is actually five and six of rockers, but it, I think it's actually seven, eight of total made. So I've kind of perfected it. Okay, so before we get to the back, I'm going to go ahead and go to part three, because I don't want to go all the way to ten, because ten sucks. Um, so let's move on to part three.